Okay, all right, it's recording. Rebecca, if you wanna start us off. Okay, the first item is the minutes. Has anybody had any discussion on the minutes that we need to do? They seem very thorough to me. Can I have somebody to move to accept them? I move, I so move. And have second? Second. All in favor? Yes. Uh, minutes pass. Okay, the one I main item is the bathroom restoration, which is apparently started. Yes, it was supposed to start today, huh? Yep, Tracy, can I ask you to comment on that? I'm sorry, I had um, the mute button on. Yes, rest, uh, the bathroom renovations began um, yesterday morning. Um, and they continued on to today. Um, so we're very happy that that's underway. And I don't have my notes with me regarding the construction company. It's out of Springfield. Um, and the lead contractor was um, at the, arrived at the branch yesterday and he also returned today. Um, and we had about a couple of workers um, worked, worked in the branch uh, yesterday and also today. And the project is estimated to take about two months. They plan to wrap up around April 1st. And every two weeks, um, we, we had an initial meeting um, last Tuesday and we discussed having um, meetings every two weeks just to talk about uh, the how the project is progressing. Um, so that's about it. I don't know if Josue, you were at that meeting last week, if you wanted to add anything. Um, I think you cover all the, the high level review uh, tracing. The company is CNN, CNN Contractors. Um, and they've done some work for us before. Uh, actually, they they did work in the library uh, many years ago. Uh, oh. so they're, not, they're not new to us. It just happened that through the bidding process uh, with uh, the Green County Public Library's uh, architect, um, they won the bid for this project. So it's great. We've done work with them before. Um, we're happy to go. I'm happy to go into any particular details of the project. Um, there are specific things that we've uh, identified, and I think that they may be of importance uh, to the commission to know, and that is that there will always be a bathroom available. They're working on both bathrooms, but there will always be a bathroom available. Uh, mm -hmm. So that was prioritized in the, in the project. Um, so I think from a customer service perspective, that's not a, a concern. Um, obviously is going to create some dust and other things. And we hope that that is uh, to a minimum and the mm -hmm. folks know that um, and they're sensitive to our needs that we need to maintain some level of operation at the library. Have, have you had to reroute the one-way path? Um, yes, we're now using one of the entrances as an exit door as well. So Patrons are able to exit out the front door and also the uh, door that they enter into. And we placed a sign um, near the, the rear exit, um, redirecting traffic and letting patrons know that that exit is temporarily closed. And I, I'd like to add that the construction crew, they're very neat. Um, they vacuum up any debris in the hallway every night. So, hey, um, this is just for the group. Anyone who who might know, I remember earlier on in the discussions, um, there was talk about uh, whether it was just the bathroom uh, or or whether there would be some work done in the break room. Is is that no longer a consideration, or is that a completely separate project? Kevin, I can comment on that. Um, the bathroom is purely a matter for the village that's under the village's nickel. Um, the, any work that was done on the break room would be done as a tenant improvement, which would be on GCPL's bill. And right now we're not budgeted for that. Okay, good, thanks. 
Is there anything further, further comment or discussion about the bathroom renovation? I look forward to the grand opening. <laughs> sort of a celebratory flush. <laughs> yeah, right. you can be the first, Kevin. <laughs> right, right, right. I'll, I'll um, hold it till then. <laughs> I, I would actually just make the comment that, you know, this has been another great example of how the commission has helped uh, the village, the library, Yellow Springs Library Association work together on a common project. And we were, you know, we're using the library's architect, uh, we're using the village's construction approach, and um, we all had a great input into this process. And I think when we get done, we can really say that all voices were listened to and we did the best we could with the project. So, you know, job well done, everyone. Mm -hmm. yes. okay. Thank you, Carl. Yeah. Now there was, from the minutes, there was one sort of subject that was kind of allied with the bathroom renovation, and that was the possibility of a building inspection maintenance plan. Is, is there any further discussion about that? That will be on on our end. We we have, we have we've had several conversations about this one commissioning a full uh, maintenance um, a plan, a study and plan for the library. Um, we haven't commissioned such a such a study, and we don't have it uh, on our budget uh, to do it. But we continue to uh, make improvements to the facility and look for um, maintenance items that we can be proactive about. Um, this the, in 2020, we had uh, we made some HVAC improvements, and we also had um, some unexpected une unexpected uh, repairs to make. Um, in, in addition to all the ones that the commission tasked me to follow up on, um, so we're I don't have a plan, but the team is um, aware and is actively working on on doing maintenance to the building. Have there been any new maintenance issues cropped up in, since our last meeting? Well, our last meeting was in November. Yeah. Is that right? So, uh, no, I'm not, I don't recall any particular issues come up since. Oh, great. Um, one thing I would note as an aside, uh, Josue's point about, you know, getting to uh, a long-term maintenance plan, you know, as, as, a, as a thing that, that will come in the future makes complete sense to me. One of the things I would just point out to the village is, is that um, K4, the architects that you're now using on the project, you might consider this a little bit of a dry run with them because uh, of course, K4 were the masterminds of the building maintenance plan that we put in place at Xenia. So, you know, they have some experience in that area. And if you decide you like them, that there's somebody that you could use as a resource in the future. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Carl. Are you at liberty to speak about now roughly how much that costs? I don't remember. It was a couple of years ago. It wasn't awful. And remember, Xenia Library is way bigger than Yellow Springs Library. Uh, but gosh, uh, you know, I, I, I hate to hit shoot it, but it wasn't yeah. awful. I think okay. it was in the neighborhood of 30,000. Okay. Now, it, you know, it might be helpful if we could see the Xenia plan. I mean, it's possible that study? something we could I do. I thought we had provided that, but, you know, um, if we haven't, Josue, just prod Rick and have him send it to you. It's a public okay. document. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, we would be I delighted would, for you all to see that. I would do so. And we've got expertise in house for us to evaluate um, a lot of the systems, um, particularly the mechanical systems. Yeah, it, you know, it doesn't have to be done by an outside team. It, it, uh, the whole goal is just to have a, a timeline. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. And the, the other thing that popped out at me from the minutes when I was going over them that sort of left over is the downspout issue that there was something about there would be a solution worked out temporarily until the downspout could be enlarged with the, the coming of winter. Is that being addressed? The um, we don't have a say an engineering an engineering uh, plan to address that. What the team's going to do is if the the ice and snow is uh, accumulating, ice okay. um, or erosion, it's it's happening with with every rainfall. We're just going to go out and maintain it and clear it and 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 do some maintenance work. 
And, um, you know, we anticipate that, you know, obviously it's happening right now, right? And as the snow melt, melts, we're going to probably have some ice left over and we'll just, we'll send someone to break it up and clear the, clear the path. Okay. Now, so, the Tracy, I will need your help with that since you're on site, if you see that uh, issue on the, and I don't know if you know what gutters we're talking about. We're, there's some erosion happening on the, on the Xenia side, going towards the, the downtown area, right there at the corner. Okay, I'll let you know if I notice anything. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Sure. Now, the one issue we should probably deal with, with the news of Dan is, for one thing, the commission recognizing him for his, his input and valuable service, but also getting a an announcement in the in the paper that we're going to need a new member. And I believe Judy is the one who does that. Josue, do you, are you the one that makes the request of her? Um, the, I, I will speak with her. The, okay. the council liaison uh, to the commission um, can, can uh, formally request that, but I'll follow up with her and we put together an ad and um, announce that there's a a vacancy in the commission. Okay. Ultimately, the council liaison makes the not the in the interviews and makes the nomination and for council to uh, approve. Did I miss anything, Kevin or Marianne? Yeah, well, I'll just go ahead and do the initial outreach to uh, to uh, to Judy. Uh, is she fully back? Full spray? Is she available? She is not fully back. She wants to be back 150% like she normally uh, is and, and wants to be involved. Um, but we're, we're, we're working through it. Was she ill? Rebecca, she had, a, she had an injury and she's been out of, uh, out of the office for some time and she's expected to be out of the office for a few weeks, at least physically. Now she's mm -hmm. able to do some things remotely um, and we are making all the accommodations we can to provide her with access and um, being able to allow her to work from home as much as she's able to. I must admit with the weather we've had to, today, I'm very glad we're meeting remotely. <laughs> Is there space in the library to put up a notice as well about the opening because there may be people who attend come to the library frequently who would be interested mm. and maybe that would be a way to catch them. We can put a notice up in the um, front entrance, the lobby of the front entrance of the library. Yeah, we can definitely do that. That's a good idea, yeah. That, that might also be a way to acknowledge, I, I don't know how we would want to acknowledge Dan, but it could be done at the library as well. If you wanted to do that. That would be. Yeah, good. but it certainly wasn't reflected in the minutes. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Is there are there any other issues we need to discuss tonight? Oh, we covered everything. Yeah. Wow. Well, we you did so much good work that you knocked off almost <laughs> the entire agenda. <laughs> Okay, so can I entertain a motion to adjourn? I move. Okay, second. Second. We're this adjourned. Is, this is my favorite commission. I love it. <laughs> thank you. <everyone. laughs> all right, thank you all. Have a good thank evening. Thank, thank, thank you, Hosway, for setting Thanks it up. So much. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 bye.